Thanks for joining today. We're going to take a look at a verse that you're probably very familiar with. That's Romans 1.16. The first part of this verse says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. We're ashamed of a lot of things. Sadly, I think the list of things that we're ashamed of in our lives is much longer than the list of things that we're proud of. We would be ashamed of words that we spoke in anger, ashamed of our conduct and behavior at times, ashamed of our failures to do the things that we should do when we had the opportunity to do them. We're ashamed of addictions and the list goes on and on. And so why did Paul say that he was not ashamed of the gospel? Well, some people like to simplify this and they say that the thought was that Paul was implying that since he's not ashamed of the gospel, then the opposite is true, that Paul is proud of the gospel. And that, that is a definitive truth, but I don't think that's what Paul was saying. You see, we live in a world today that is contrary to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Following Jesus is not cultural, it's countercultural. In this world, I think the gospel is something that you and I are supposed to be ashamed of. In fact, we could even say it. You and I should be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. What do I mean by that? Well, we live in a world that's basically shameless. God says to the prophet Jeremiah about the sinfulness of his own people. This is Jeremiah 6, verse 15. It says, Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed, nor did they know how to blush. We've become a culture that has forgotten how to blush. We're desensitized to sin. Sin is the new norm. There's no shame in sin. It's become acceptable. There's no shame in lying because truth is relative rather than absolute. There's no shame in drug or alcohol abuse. It's become trendy to go to rehab over and over and over again. There's no shame in sexual immorality as long as we're consenting adults. There's no shame in government scandals or private life and the public life don't affect each other. We become a generation that no longer blushes about anything. Our culture is in a very bad situation when this becomes the new normal. Things that should embarrass us actually become a notch on our belt. We now believe that the culture defines morality right and wrong, not God, not His Word. We even boast in our sin and we exalt ourselves against a holy God. Listen to Psalm 10 verse 3. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, he blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is in none of his thoughts. That's where our culture is heading. In fact, that's probably where our culture is even now. Sin is the default. It's the expectation. So in essence, we should be ashamed that we follow a gospel that's contrary to the normal. We should feel shame from a world because we don't live as they do. Listen to what Paul writes in Philippians 3.17. Brethren, join in following my example and note those who so walk as you have us for a pattern. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ whose end is destruction whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. When you live in this world and this world's value system is upside down, and you have the opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, there is automatically a feeling of shame that comes from this world. To stand for Christ, to speak for Christ, to live for Christ will bring you public shaming. You will be canceled. And since you're not participating in the world's value system, you're not accepted by their standard. You're an outcast. You're a reject. Paul was writing to a group of people who lived in a pagan society, not much different than ours is today. Paul is basically saying, I should be ashamed to share the gospel with you because you reject everything connected with God. I should be ashamed to share the gospel because it will make me an outcast of society. Yet Paul makes this bold declaration, not looking to fit into this world, not worried about repercussions, not caring that he may not have a place in this world. He says, even though according to your standards, I should be ashamed to speak the name of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, 
I don't care that your value system is upside down from God's. I don't care that siding with Christ sides me against you. I don't care that me being accepted by Christ means rejection by you. I don't care that since I have a place in eternity, I will lose my place in the temporary. Just as the old song says, you can have this world, just give me Jesus.